Hey everybody, Psychosaurus is here. Welcome back to HMA Pass Online. And today, well, we're gonna make a little talk about crafting. The thing about this more as a tutorial to crafting. So if you're a new player, you might find this very useful. If you're more of a advanced player, you might find this useful as well, hopefully. But it's just gonna be mainly the basics about crafting and yeah, it's just about crafting. So first thing about crafting, there are two parts. Let's start with number one, and that is materials. Now, if you don't know, in the Age of Empires Online, you have actually some kind of workshops that can produce materials, and also you can buy materials. What do you do with these materials? A lot of stuff. <laughs> well, there's not that much. But, to give it short, these are the kinds of workshops. You, have, you can see it's like a farm. It's like some kind of wood workshops, stone quarry, and so on. There's five in total of these. These are the basic materials that you will find. Now, you don't really need that much to get them, all you need to do is just go to the general store and you can see down here, if you scroll down, you'll find all these workshops. And they are producing these basic materials at first only, which are these five which you can also purchase, so once you are a little bit higher level you don't really need to produce these materials, you can just purchase them over here. Yeah, so these are the wor workshops, you're producing them. You can have up to 8 per city that you have created, so 8 per, per save. And these are the most basic materials. Then we have also advanced workshops, which are these kind of things, like here I have for the codexes and look. Kind of the scrivener's workshop, yeah, that's what it's called. Now, these are the so called advanced workshops, these are creating advanced materials. And as you can see, they don't start at a common like the basic materials, that's because there is no common material that would be advanced. Now, one thing I need to mention and also can't forget you can only have two per sieve. Of these advanced workshops. But once you build the material, the workshop, you actually have already being. You will get access to the first material they can produce. So if you build a farm, you will already have access to the grain that you can produce. If you build the scrivener's workshop, you have access to the scrolls of lore. Pretty straightforward. So that's where you get. Now, to get the more advanced materials available for you to produce, you need to get recipes. Now, where do you get those recipes? Well, one way, playing quests and hoping you drop them from the chest. That's one way. And obviously, you can also buy from something like Moes, but if you're new to the game, you won't have that many coins to actually be able to purchase that many chests from Moe, so play quest, you might be able to drop them. Now if you don't drop them, you can actually purchase some recipes. And for these, and I don't have it here, uncommon materials for the basic workshops, all you need to do is go to the first large city if you're playing as a premium safe, such as Celts, Greeks, Egyptians and Romans. So in case of Celts, if you go to Massalia, or the, in case of the other civs, they're, they're equivalent of this city. If you go to the Massalia, go through the stores, it's one of those, I don't remember which one it is, I think it's one of those. Might be general, might be crafting, I don't remember exactly which one it was. If you go there, you'll find the advanced recipes for the uncommon materials. That's where you find the uncommon materials and also that's where you purchase 
these advanced workshops and if I remember correctly these actually do cost materials to build and I think you need the basic ones but as I have shown you you can just purchase those basic materials here so it's not that expensive so it might be better for you to just go straight for the uncommon materials here and it might be okay to sell a few pieces if you have way too many of those materials. You don't really need that many of those, to be honest. But getting like few extra for the coin for you to vendor at the stores, earn some extra coin. That can work, but it's not the best coin income, to be honest. But it's nice for some early coin. Now, yeah, there are also the rare and epic rarities of materials now for those unfortunately you cannot purchase those nowhere there is nowhere for you to purchase them so to get those only chest whether it's dropped by getting them dropped whether it's buying the chest from moes and then hoping it will drop otherwise you'll have to purchase it from other players how Global market or trading through the chat. And if we take a look, we take a look at here. You need to go down here for the crafting recipes, switch this for material and the rarity you're looking for. Let's see, can we find like uncommon? Yeah, we can. And you can see I don't have access to these materials at all. If we go for the rare ones, there might be more. You can see. Notice the yellow text, you already learned the, this recipe. This will help you to remember whether you have already used the recipe here or not. You might use it somewhere else, just in case if you're looking for this material, you want to produce it, uh, produce a lot of it, but you're already producing here, you can move it to the other sieve if you want that material that much. And as you can see, this is where you can get the rare and epic crafting recipes for materials. Now, yeah, same thing goes for the advanced, it's pretty much the same rule. Now also, it's worth noticing that each material has different cooldown. If we take a look at this, it will take 15 minutes. Is it 15 minutes? I guess it is. Been a while since I've been crafting those, but it takes 15 minutes to craft one unit of grain. Now I don't have the uncommon one, but if we take a look at this, because it's pretty much the same, it takes 30 minutes for the uncommon material, two hours for the rare materials, and six hours for the epic materials. So this already tells you getting the better rarities is gonna take a while. And to be honest, to get the full stack over here, like of 100, obviously 6 hours, one day is 24 hours, so you get 4 per day. That means it takes 25 full days to get the full stack of 100. Well, it's not full stack because the stack size has been increased, but that's the maximum you can have here at the workshops. So remember to check your workshops regularly so you don't waste time and make sure they keep producing. I don't really care about the materials right now so I'm not really picking them up that much. But yeah. Now obviously you can purchase them, you saw it, the common materials are here. For the uncommon basic materials you just need to go for the second city, the Massalia in this case, for the Uncommon materials here, you can actually go to Argus, I think also Babylon is selling those, I don't remember if there was some other city, I think those two are the main ones where you can find these, I don't think any other had those, yeah if you want the scrolls of lore you can go to Argus, Babylon, check those stores there, and for basic materials, the rare rarity you can actually go to Cyprus and buy those there as well. So if you want spices, go to Cyprus, check their general store. You can purchase those there. For the advanced materials, 
the rare ones are not purchasable. You cannot purchase those. And in both cases, you cannot purchase the epic materials. So, either you craft them if you have the recipe, or you can purchase from other players if they are trading through the trade channel or on the global market. Now, what do we do with these materials? Now, number one thing is building buildings. I have already mentioned the workshop. If I remember correctly, these actually cost materials to build. And it's not just these workshops, it can be the more advanced stores like the MOAS, it can be Uncommon Armament, Exquisite Epic Edges. These stores can cost a good amount of materials. And yeah, <laughs> if you want to know the prices, make sure to check them out. If you're not sure what really is costing your specific material, obviously the search website is here. Did I switch it? Yeah, I did. Okay, so if I'm looking, for example, what I can use the pine planks for, I just type it in. And as you can see, pine planks can be used for crafting uncommon gear. And as you can see, there is nothing better. If you try to look up rare gear, nothing will show up. And you can try. I can show it to you. If I type in rare, there is nothing. So that's the best you're gonna get from the common materials. It's like. But it's not only gear. If we go blueprints, here you will find all the buildings that you can build with this material. You can see some statues, obviously. The warehouses are also quite important. If you need the inventory space, it's really good to have them. And I think these can also be purchased, yeah. Also, I forgot to mention, now that I'm looking at this, if you're playing as Prosif, so Norse, Babylonians, Persians, and soon to be Indians, you don't really have the, sec the first city to visit because you don't have those, yeah. So, to get access to the advanced workshops and the uncommon materials, recipes, you actually have access to Advanced general store, advanced crafting store, and I don't know if it's, it's advanced recipe store called. In one of those stores, I think it's the general advanced general store. You can purchase the workshops and materials there. I think it's that one, either that or the crafting one. You need to check that out for me. I don't remember <laughs> that to be honest, but it's one of the three. I I think you can. I don't remember. I think you you need to purchase them from the general store or one of the other two basic ones. That's it. But yeah, materials, buildings, you can look it up here. And obviously recipes. Here you can find pretty much everything, which includes the the gear that I've shown to you, but also the consumables if you want to craft some consumables you can but again you might need a recipe for that so that's the use for materials I think yeah it doesn't show here okay I hope I didn't forget anything make sure to tell me in the comment section if I forgot something because this is pretty much what you're using materials for of course I forgot events and also some alliance quests allow this as well. You can actually trade materials for empire points and event points. There are specific quests. I don't think it's for the common one, maybe the uncommon. But let's check it real fast. So if we go, let's say for Delos, real quick. That you will find a global quest that will allow you to trade the materials Let's if you have them in your inventory. So if we have, yes, you can go even for the common one. You need a full stack, and as you can see, it's, it's six days. Yeah, it's not that many, okay? It's a nice income if you are in really big need of getting some empire points. But that's about it. If these are just the uh, common ones, I think. Hides, copper, grain, pine planks, stone blocks. Yeah, those are the common ones. And then you have like 
the advanced materials, just two versions. Be sure to check the other land cities for these quests as well. And in case of the Halloween event and summer event, I am I don't think winter event is gonna have trading materials because last year, if I remember correctly, they did not put that into the event. So I'm not saying that it will or not. It's possible, but you can trade the epic materials for some of the event points. And I think for the basic materials, it's 400 per full star, was it? No, wait, no, 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 it's one point per unit. So if you have 250, you can trade it for 250 points. And if you have the advanced material full stack, you can trade it for four times, that's four points per unit. So up to, so getting thousand for a full stack. That's what you can do. So I hope, I think that's all about the materials. There are obviously some event specific materials, but they are used only during the events. Whether it's crafting the gear from a specific quest or building the archive buildings. Not really important to mention, it's just part of the event. But yeah, I think I mentioned it enough of the materials. So just to recapture, you have basic workshops which you can have up to 8 per city. Then you have advanced workshops which you can have up to 2 each time for production of materials. For basic materials you start with the common ones. For the advanced with the, the uncommon, ver uncommon materials. To get better, better materials you need to get recipes. And to use these you use them for crafting gear, building buildings, crafting consumables and you can also trade them for apartments. So I guess that's those are the main points here. And obviously you don't really need to produce every single material of each rarity because you can always purchase them if you have enough coins. Once you are level 40 you're playing legendary quests or elite quests even. Those are pretty worth right now these days. So you can try those as well. Yeah. Also materials can drop from chest. That's what I forgot to mention. Uh, hopefully that's all. Just in case, remind me in the chat if I forgot something. I think that's pretty much it about materials. Okay, let's move on to the second part. And that's crafting schools. Now first, when you're playing as a premium Civ, you need to get this building called Crafting Hall. If you're playing as Pro Civ, you already have it from the beginning. And these are coming in pretty soon enough. I don't remember when exactly. It might be somewhere between level 5 and 10, I think it is. But that's what it is. Now, this building will also spawn this quest giver, Crafting Hall Master, which will offer up to two quests, repeatables, which you can do to get additional materials. But you do it once every 12 hours and you get 100 units of the common ones or the uncommon ones but only one as you can see it's choose one of so you can get only one but if you're looking for those materials yeah you have other way than just purchasing them and crafting them as well so that's another way of for you to get those but it's only the basic materials so yeah those are very cheap to buy I will not really it. Now back to the crafting hall. Here you can actually select the schools you wanna choose for this save. Now for each save you can choose up to two schools. As you can see I have only two. If I try to select and learn another one, as you can see pop up, I cannot. Now what I can do is obviously I can unlearn the school that I've already learned just in case. I want for some reason use some other school. 
Now I don't recommend doing that at all because if you do that, and I'm not gonna show that here because nope, <laughs> I don't wanna do that. Simply enough, if you unlearn the school, you will lose every single recipe that you've learned for that school. Everything, okay? And to get it to get it all back, that's gonna take a while. Well, maybe not for me. Because I can always buy the recipes, but yeah, it's gonna take a while to get all get it all back. And that's not really fun thing to do. So if you're a new player, remember you don't wanna do that. Now the thing is every school is for crafting some consumables, which is obviously like thematically fitting the school, but obviously it also crafts gear, which is specific again thematically for the school. So if you, I would go with the archery, it would be like arrows, slings, bows, and the belly bows, which makes sense, right? If I go, let's say engineering, it would be like siege. So throwing arms, engineering accessory, ram hats, and armor plating. Makes sense, right? Like I said, you can learn only two schools per save. Now, there is not really any restriction about this. You can choose whichever school you want. But there is only one exception. And this is why I'm showing this as scouts. Because you will not see this on any other sieve. And that's the metalworking school. You want to always pick this for your Celts. Because this is seriously just a Celt specific one. But it was until the Romans came in. But most of the stuff you find here is for Celts. And that's the Torques, War Horns and War Paints. Now these two you can obviously put now on the Romans as well. But... This was originally just for Kells, because Kells were using these pieces of gear only. No other Sith uses these. And obviously there are some consumables, but yeah, this is the only exception. Always pick metalworking for your Kells. Whatever else you pick, doesn't matter. Pick whatever you like on any other Sith. Kells, always metalworking. That's what you have to remember, always. If not, you'll be lacking one school, which is a shame because there's some good stuff in that school. But if you pick metalworking, iron, whatever you want, you can go infantry, you can go religion, you can go archery, whichever you like. Or Celts, always metalworking. And I need to rem remind you that because if you don't do that, you will have to unlearn a school to learn the metalworking. And if you do that, you're gonna lose all the recipes you've used for that school. So, careful with that. That's what I'm keep, keep saying. That. And also, I think there is some kind of price for learning schools, if I am not mistaken. I, it's been a long time since I was learning those schools. I am not really using the crafting hall that much. Since I have already <laughs> picked my schools. But yeah, once you select the school, you will also earn a blueprint. And those blueprints are for these buildings. As you can see, I have my religion, religious school here, which is the Grand Temple as it's called. It also spawns this quest giver. I don't know why I don't have it here. Okay, metalworking, that might be. Why? And don't ask me why, but I guess every other school except for metalworking is spawning these craftmasters quest givers which have no real use at all. And they never had it. As long as I remember there was never use for these. Just they're just there. They could be used anytime, but they've never been used. But what I remember that it used to be part of this, if you selected a school, you would also get another blueprint, which would be for recipe stores specifically for that school. So, but that was reworked, and now you have just one recipe store. Do I have it here? I think I might have it here somewhere. Here. Yeah, where, where you will find all these recipes for some basic gear for each school. 
You don't really need it to be honest because the more interesting stuff is at the higher levels. If you're in need for some lower level gear for some reason, you can go for those, but trust me, you don't really need, need those. But yeah, these are the schools. If you go to those, you can see all the recipes that you've learned. But at the beginning, you will have just these common ones, if I remember correctly the rogue priests and the gold deposit consumables which in any other school these these will be the basics you'll have so you actually have some usage for those schools now funny funny thing funny fact actually if I if it's still working if you learn a school build a building then unlearn it and learn some other school you can build that building and the building will stay and you can actually check that out in my Greek home city because I have all those buildings built there so you can check that out that it at least it used to be thing I, I don't think it was touched at all but yeah same thing about just like with the materials if you wanna unlock more stuff you need to get recipes in this case, you need a recipe for a specific school. And obviously you need to have access to the school, so if you want to use, like let's say in my case, if I had a recipe for infantry school, do I have something here just in case? Uh, I don't see. It's not in my inventory now, shame. But if I wanted something for in infantry, let's use this. You can see, crafting school infantry, it's red, okay? That means I cannot use it. But if I scroll down and find those religious items, uh, those will be like down, like let's say here, you can see crafting school religion. If it's green, you can use it in your home city. And obviously, there is also the text if you have already learned the recipe or not. Again, very useful for you. Rather than remember, you just read it. Okay, I have it. I don't need this. Very useful stuff. And just like with materials, all the stuff is uh, categorized by the rarity. And again, it goes from the highest rarity down to the lowest. And I don't know if there's anything specific like how it's ordered, otherwise just remember it's always rarity first, then it's the level, as you can see it goes down here, I have epic here and all of a sudden it's rare. And then I guess it's alphabetically, which would make sense, maybe even gear type, who knows. Yeah, it's ordered by this. and. This is, as you can see, it's a lot of red over here. If I had something green or white here, which I don't, but I guess I can show it. Do I? Okay, those are. Ooh, I guess I can go with this. Let's go. Where's the general store? Heights and copper. Okay, well, one, two, three. This is very cheap. So I purchased those materials just as a showcase and you can see now it's white. That means I can craft it. If it's red you don't have enough materials to craft the stuff. And if you select it you can see what you're missing so you can see a lot of stuff. Oh boy. These are the prices for the legendary items. Just so you know it's gonna take a while for you to get those. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. If you have the materials, it's all white, for you to grab the item, select it, and then all you need to do is press this create button. Then, short amount of time, it's 2 seconds, here you'll find the item, now for you to put it into the inventory, you need to click it. Now we have it in the inventory, and we can use it anywhere you like. So yeah, this is consumable, so I, just, I can just put it right here, I wanted to put it right there, now I can use it 
during a quest I don't need to put it there I can just open the inventory use it for my inventory but this is like fast access if I need to very useful now obviously if it was a piece of gear I can put it on my unit and I guess do I have something else to say one thing I should recommend you don't really need the low level stuff because most of the items that you need you're gonna drop from the chest anyway so like getting all these is not really necessary and in my opinion rather a waste of time and coins you just keep focusing on these you don't really need those okay and before you realize you are like seven levels above it and then all of a sudden it's not a good piece of gear so yeah seriously don't really waste your time materials and coins and whatever on these it's not worth it at all the more interesting stuff is obviously at the higher levels now obviously there might be some lower level stuff that could be also interesting I don't think it's like here but let's I think it's like level 38 epic shield which is called cuckoo lines which grants huge cavalry armor that you can use really good shield so don't look only at level 40 items you can also look at the level 38 47 items if you know what you're looking for if you don't know this website is here for you you're looking for some specific item you just need to type it in if you don't know I already made a tutorial how to use this website it's really useful and I hope so that you can find it for yourself I don't want to put it here but yeah it's on my channel make sure to check it out and I I think that's all I have to say about the crafting schools. There's not really much to say. Is it useful? Yes, obviously. Once you reach the end game, getting those legendary items can be very interesting. There are some nice pieces like the ropes of Babylon are a really nice piece. The Sad's Best West is a really nice piece. These two are pretty nice pieces of gear as well. So, to summarize this. You need a crafting hall to select a school. You can select up to two schools per safe. Obviously, there's more than enough safes for you to choose from. So, the choice does not really matter, except and always big metalworking when you are playing as scouts. Okay, when you're on your Celtic safe, always metalworking. And other than that, you can use this these buildings to craft consumables and gear from that specific school if you're looking for some specific gear types remember to check the crafting hall select the school and hover your cursor over these icons to see what kind of gear types you can produce from these and don't waste your resources on the low level gear it's not worth it okay before you know it you're, you're seven levels above there's better stuff for you to get and i guess that's all from me for now because i don't think there's anything else needed to say obviously you can craft the gear sell it to other players if you want to but i will, again don't waste the resources on the low level gear some little bit higher level can be nice for some new players, but that's about it. Okay, I guess that's all for me for now. If I forgot to mention something, make sure to leave a comment in the description. Oh, sorry, in the comment section, what am I saying? Yeah, um, tell me what you think about this video. What, did you find this very useful? Comment section is there. Make sure to press the like button. And make sure to subscribe to the channel just so you can watch many more videos and you can see whenever I release a new new one. So I hope you enjoy this 
remember like subscribe and I'll see you next time bye